Today's video is about tips for teachers and enhancing connections in the classroom. As an educational consultant, I have a variety of different stories that happens in classrooms. And I wanna share this one today because I think this is a very powerful takeaway. So I'm working at this middle school. I'm predominantly only working with sixth grade teachers. So I've only trained sixth grade teachers. I go into sixth grade teachers' classrooms to support them in connections all the time. But I have a seventh grade teacher that says, hey, if you have a period off the next time you're here, I would love to see some of these tools in action in my seventh grade classroom. And I'm like, absolutely. So the next time I come to the campus, everything is set up. But as I I walk into the room, I hear the murmurings of the students. Now understand, I really don't know the seventh grade students, but some of them have recognized me for being on the campus before. So I start to hear things like, hey, it's that circle guy. Because back then, primarily the only tool that we really used to build community was circle. And then I started hearing things like, hey dude, he's gonna make you talk about your mom. Hey, he's gonna make you cry. And I, I just couldn't believe what the students were saying, but ultimately it does make a little bit of sense. They think that sometimes Sometimes community building relationships are all about therapy play and some type in the classroom. And so immediately my red flags went up and I started to think outside the box. So what I did is as I was reaching in my bag, I realized I had these conversation cubes and you can just get them on Amazon or a variety of different places. But what I started to notice was is that I didn't want any of my questions to be generated by me as an adult coming into the classroom. So the first thing I did was to say, hey guys, my name is Mr. Curtis. I'm just a consultant. I'm here to support connections in the classroom and I'm not here to talk about your mom or to make you cry today. And in fact, I don't even know what I'm gonna ask you because I'm gonna let the conversation cubes ju generate the conversations. And they were like, what? So I passed the conversation cubes around so that they could see them, they could become comfortable with the questions. The only thing I asked them was is, hey, if I would love for you to participate and whatever we roll, can we just respond to that question? Can we just stick with it? So we got a thumbs up, everybody was having a good time. They looked at the cubes and bam, we're off. Hey, before we go any further, Educators, where are you getting your classroom questions from? To me, community building is such a huge part of it. Put it in the comments below where you're getting your resources. I'm rolling the cube, we're having great conversations, we're passing around, everything is great. And about four rolls in, I swear we had transitioned to Vegas. All of a sudden the kids are like, oh my God, what is it, what is it? They were so excited about the questions. So I could see the anticipation and the eagerness kind of growing with each roll. Now, in the story, about six rolls in, all of a sudden, the students were like, hey, what if you roll the cube and whoever you roll it in front of, they pick it up and they answer first. And I'm like, whatever, let's just have fun. We're having a great time creating these connections in the classroom. So I roll the cube, it rolls in front of the student, he picks it up and he said, hey, I thought we weren't gonna talk about these things. And I was like, dude, I don't even know what the question is, but whatever it is, like keep rolling, get a positive one. And here's what I love about this story. The question actually asks, what was a sad time in your life? Now, I, that wasn't set up. I didn't even think about that question on the cube. It was just, it was pre-generated. But here's what I love about this story is that student paused and said, no, I'll answer it. And I was like blown away, but I was like, absolutely. And he shared briefly. And all he shared was, is when my parents got divorced. And to me, it wasn't about how much he shared. It wasn't even about what he shared. It was the fact that he shared. Here he is with a strange man coming into a classroom who he thought had an agenda, who thought I was in there to deal with some type of trauma. And all I can tell you is, is through that quick conversation and just those cubes, have that student elicit a response with a strange man telling me about a time he was sad, I think is profound. And I wanna encourage you that if you're building community in the classroom and you feel like sometimes your students are not sharing, maybe anxiety is going up, they're not sure what questions are generated, that even if it's not a conversation cube, even if it's something that creates random questions that are not adult generated, I would encourage you that those students, you'll find yourselves would participate more in those conversations than if you just have those questions up on the board. Hey teachers, if you're looking to decrease discipline and behaviors in your classroom and increase student engagement, I'm gonna encourage you to visit our website at ddiscipline.com.